춤고 천국을 내려와 And we're back. Hello, 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 hello. You like that short intro? Do you? Mm? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Um, it's been a while, huh? It's been about uh, six hours. Six hours ago, I was here. Six hours ago, we were streaming um, Hope on the Street. <sighs> Jeez, these titles are getting to me. Hope on the Street. Uh, docu-series uh tonight we are going to uh all watch and listen and analyze and discuss the hope on the street album which is dropping in about 24 minutes um and we will keep each other company uh, until the uh, release happens after that you're on your own you do what you want to you can go to <laughs> Um, Spotify or YouTube or a stream or watch with me. Uh, you can do both. It's all up to you. I'm only responsible uh, for the time up to the release. Uh, after that, you do what you feel necessary. Yes. Um, regarding the docu series, uh, for those of you who don't know about my Patreon, we w watched it on the Patreon. Patreon is available to rich people and poor people and everyone in between. Um, there are paid tiers and free tiers. 
um, so don't feel pressured. Uh, if you don't have a means to watch it, um, yes, please join my Patreon. My Patreon is worth it, uh, even as a paid tier. But why? Because uh, ever since the fifth muster, which is right when I first started uh, YouTube, I've streamed every concert um, online. Um, so you'll never have to pay for another concert if you don't want to. Um, even the the concerts that are not uh, streamed online, uh, we have uh, a way to get around that because we uh, we have um, a whole team in the back, like like um, curating fan cams, so. They keep on sending it to me, the fan cams. They feed it to me and then they say, switch over to this cam. So we'll switch over to a better cam. Um, so it's it's worth it. It's worth it, free or paid. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, uh, this Hope on the Street is uh, paid content. And um, it's over there. <laughs> so actually, it's over here. Uh, click on the link, the Patreon link. Um, there's three tiers for the people who need it, people who are a little bit more fortunate, um, if you can, um, please help us out because uh, there are some significant costs uh, involved uh, in doing this that, uh, um, that the viewers don't really know about. Yeah. Anyways, uh, during today's live stream, um, of the docu series, we actually got to hear a snippet of a few songs, uh, and I had this growing feeling that uh, this album—I have never used the term "album of the year," but I have a feeling this is worthy of being called "album of the year." I have never used that term through my whole YouTube career. But I feel like this is uh, uh, the proper album to describe it like that. Um, I also have a feeling that it'll be more like a, an RM style of album where the genre and the production style is so varied from genre to genre. Um, J-Hope, Suga, uh, even V. Um, tend to bring a certain type of flavor to the whole album whereas uh rm definitely jim to a certain extent um really varied their their style uh from song to song and i feel like this is going to be uh, one of those um which i like more i just like a clean break in style and and flavor from the prior song that we listened to um and uh, i heard a little bit about uh, a, a little bit of jungkook's collab which is okay it's decent um and then um the less set of theme i have high hopes for the one with uh ho yunjin i don't know uh, i also have high hopes for lock unlocked with uh, benny blanco I was originally really high on the song Neuron, but not as much right now. <laughs> so, um, these are my initial thoughts going in. Um, during the docuseries, so we're going to play a little bit, a snippet. Um, I, n <laughs> I, I never script these lies. I'm sure you know that. And sometimes something comes worthy of showing to you and it's not available on on youtube so i will replay a snippet of what we did um and so it, for those of you who haven't watched the docuseries j-hope uh, contacts a legendary dancer named uh boogaloo kin and um i re i i comment that 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 guy has some mafia a mafia look, a guy who was looked like he was born on the street, whereas J-Hope was, uh, in the morning he would leave his home, say goodbye to his mom and dad, 
and then go to the street, dance, and then come back to a come back to a loving home, you know? So the street was just like a a daily activity where as like real street dancers would be like homeless, <laughs> you know, living on the street. <laughs> the street was their home. Um so this is uh the moment where Jeez, who's that guy? He looks so serious. This is the moment where they're having dinner with uh, the the two of them. And then uh, Boogaloo says, um, you're just such a good kid. And we'll, we'll go from there. <laughs> he doesn't say, I just find you admirable. He says, you're just good you're good that's what he said ipo means pretty but pretty in a way that you find good when you look at kids yeah that's how he's painting it he says ipo which is pretty but a more closer translation is good <laughs> Liar. Now, <clears throat> I know a lot of guys like this, or I used to, because um, I too grew up on the mean streets of Seoul. Um, the clubs in Korea are kind of a cross uh street boys girl hot girls rich kids celebrities it's a hodgepodge uh the clubs um i was a dj um and there is a town that's really famous now uh, to foreigners, it's called Ite One, right? Uh, Ite One is like where all the foreigners meet. But before, uh, Ite One was a sketchy neighborhood. It was where uh, the army base was located, first of all. Um, and then they complained and requested to the U.S. Army to GTFO because uh, we don't want you here in the city. So they left Itaewon. But before, when the army base was there, you would have like sketchy women and bars, like right off of the army base. You would have drug dealers. I kid you not. You could buy uh, meth there. It was also like a market where you go buy fake Gucci bags. <laughs> that was mostly known for what it was. <clears throat> Uh, it was, uh, so back then the gay community was really small in Korea, but it was always there. And that's where the, the trans club would be, you know, it was very hidden underground. So like there were only a couple clubs there. So, uh, trans club, gay clubs would be there. Uh, there are a couple big clubs there. Um, and there were also these hip hop clubs. 
Uh, I'm gonna take you. I'm taking you deep today, all right? Because uh, you know, Hoteji's. Uh, he was kind of like one of the first people uh, to do like hip. Yeah, this guy can talk. <laughs> Jeez, dude, get to the point. That's YG right there on the left. That's great, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? You see right there? There's a sign right on the left at the bar. It says Self Service Moon Nightclub. You see that? Yeah, that's Moon Night. Now, jeez, <laughs> uh, yeah. So a lot of it is like jumbled up. It comes full circle. You have YG in in the mix now. Um, there were these stairs that. Wicked. All right, so that is Moon Knight, okay? And that is like where all the street dancers used to go. And the funny thing is, it used to open till like the morning. And I used to go there, not there, it was like too dungy for me, you know? Because this was all kids with like baggy jeans and like, they all had backpacks, <laughs> you know? Um, the DJ there, no, I didn't DJ there. A DJ there was had some mad skills, though. I I remember I was in the DJ box with him, and he he showed me up. I thought I was a badass, and I went in there, and no. But um, yeah, they don't mess around. Like even the girls there were all hip hop dancers, and a lot of the 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 older generation idols came from that nightclub, but. Uh, they had a big problem there, a big drug problem. Uh, a lot of kids were homeless, living on the street. Um, they did meth, and meth has always been like one of the main drugs on the streets uh, anywhere in the world, uh, Korea included. Um, but they also did crazy glue <laughs> or something like that. I don't know what, how you call it in, 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 in English. But yeah, they used to sniff glue, which is like a very, very dangerous kind of a uh, drug um, because you would get like uh, hallucinations and like, I'm sure other country, uh, poor people uh, do that. Yeah. So you put it in like a plastic bag, the glue, and then you <sighs> ingest it. I know too it, much. Like, <laughs> Yo, you know too much yeah. about this. We we call it bondu. Bondu. And that fucks you up. No, I, it's not commonly done in the U.S., uh, I believe. But, um, yeah, that was a major problem there. Um, and you could always tell who does all these drugs because there's, their teeth would be, like, just mangled at, at a very young age. But a lot of them were coming from terrible backgrounds, looking. Because you go dance there, and you'll get picked up you, you're from, uh, from people. Um, it's not... It wasn't a big, uh, big scene as now, you know, the scouts wouldn't be going there like every night, um, lining up to sign somebody, but, uh, you always dance and keep on dancing in, t in hopes of being seen. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I used to go to a club across the street from Moon Knight, which is called Rich Kid was a lot. I'm sure that guy, he lived, uh, he hung out there, um, a lot. All right, let's get back into it. Uh, to get to the uh, point. Why I say that? I forgot why I say this. <laughs> because right now he's saying, amateur, you know, you're good. Um, you're pretty in a good way. 
because the kids in that kind of uh, scene are for the most part like f- fuckheads. <laughs> you know, they, they've grown up like in such a bad situation. The way they act and think is really based on survival and and the way they think is like such a snake. It's not honest. It's not like because they don't have the luxury of being honest and like comfortable. Do you know what I mean? And when I said before like J-Hope looks like he would go out of his home and then go to the street and then come back home. Yeah, he had a a home, a, a loving home. And you you know cuz the way he cries when he thinks about home. He came from a loving uh a loving situation. And this guy did not. <laughs> I can tell you, he did not. All right? He's seen some shit. So when he sees J-Hope, he sees how pure, how clean, how innocent he is. And that's why he is saying, I find you so good. Because he's been subjected to such fuckery and drugs and such a bad... Streets are streets wherever you are in the world. New York, Seoul, you know, wherever wherever it is. It's... (laughs) There's fuckery going on. You know? And this guy brings... Doesn't bring none of that. He just brings honest, pure-hearted intentions. You like how I went all the way there and then came back? <laughs> yeah, it... It took like 10 minutes, bro. Take your time, won't you? Jeez. Who watches that trash, huh? (laughs) All right. We got five minutes left. Thanks to that fucker, we wasted five minutes. (laughs) Jeez. Uh, Whenever you need filler, (laughs) that's the guy to go to. (laughs) Whenever you need two hours of just nonstop talking, Go look up DJ Gino. Because he will talk your ear off. <laughs> Jeez. One live stream. And you're flying from New York JFK to London. <laughs> you're you're there already. <laughs> One live stream. <laughs> Sheesh. Wouldn't you like to sit next to me on a plane? <laughs> Alright. Um... Where is this happening? Is this happening on Spotify or or the Bangtan TV channel or the Hype Labels channel? Okay. We shall go and get ready. <clears throat> you know what? The... <sighs> It all differs. We don't... We don't all get to see... um, It pop up at the same time on YouTube. So... If someone sees it first... Just link it here. So I can press it. (laughs) I think there's a video for Neuron, but I'm not sure for the rest of the songs. Yeah, it looks like there is a... uh, A teaser for uh, the Neuron song with Gecko and Yun Mire. <sighs> All right, so this is my forecast album of the year. The Jungle collaboration will determine my bias moving forward. I think that will be a pretty good song. I also think. I don't know 
featuring Yunjin will be the second best song and then the third best song would be uh block unblocked lock unlocked <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so used to blocked un, unblocked um yeah so these are my predictions um for those of you who watched the, the patreon earlier today do not give any spoilers because there were some significant spoilers and during the freaking docuseries, which I didn't for, foresee, but yeah, I had to replay and replay and replay. <laughs> no spoilers. I will block, unblock you. I never freak out over songs, so. Gino has no idea what he's about to experience. Do you? <laughs> I hope you don't either. All right, two minutes. <sighs> Dudunk. My bias. Don't embarrass me. Yeah. Uh, just embarrass me off the stage. On the stage, do not embarrass me. We're going to have problems. One minute. Oh no. 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 It's coming. He's coming. Jay's coming. Oh no. How is it going to drop all in one or we're like, well, how, how would this format be? It's a whole album. If it only the music video drops, I'm going to go directly to Spotify and listen song by song first. I need links. Dun, dun, dun. Refresh. Nothing. I need links, links, hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, we go. Ready? Okay, this is Gecko Neuron. Four views!
motivation. s e p o a s e p o s a y e o j i n a n g o r i e s t a n a n y u a m e a t r m t r m i o r e p e s s a e b o n g e d e l i v e r g o n g e b i g o r i g a j a d o n g i l d o n i n g d i s o n t e k a r o i e n a p o k t a n a p o m i a n a c r a g o n g d o r i g o j u m a r n d a m a n o a d a c a s h o a b i a n b a n g s m e t r o o r i s i a p i a n o y o p e m e t r o n g m a c h u n g e i e o s i n g e t o n y o j o n i s a o r m m i r e b u r a n g a m a n u m c h a r a m o d e m i b a d a g e s w i t e We're c h i o r w a t c h a b e s u m s u m a n g a n r o u s h i k e m e s o m e white noise. Even without knowing each other's stories, we create moments of something, something, something. All right, one more time we listen and then we、uh, break it down. I will tell you, I like J Hope's first the best, then Gecko, and then Yun Mire. So, best to least best, my fave in, in sequence. Piano, y 
옆에 메트로는 그걸 맞추는 게 일이 됐고 사인의 갭도는 여전히 살 얼음 미래의 불안감은 유령처럼 모든 밑바닥에 스와이크 소리 질러 외치고 돌아와 집밥을 숨숨한 간으로 휴식해 Make some white noise We'll never ever be done for my Okay. Yes, that was Baby T. Uh, Tasha doing the background vocals. She is a very talented vocalist. Uh, change of plans. We are going to go through the album one time and then circle back. That's a better. I can't wait. I need to. I need to hear the other songs. Here we go. Next song is I Wonder, featuring John Cook of BTS. Right this family 
right. The next song is Lock Unlock with Benny Blanco. So far, the album is Holy Holy Holy. Next song. I have high hopes for this. This is with a Ha Yun Jin, I don't know.
The dance makes. So she b u n e g e t your moon. Hey, am I really like that? He man, good young little woman, all good. It's a n k e g o o d your heart, so in the boob, and you die. Go sing a kiss. So my music must be in my feel. I made it myself. But the moon, you do the j h o l e b a g i n g motor. Not a man, you can mad and boob, and do the jig. So I'm a man, you can't. You move so hungry, I'm a tank. I'm not. I'm down, you bitch, you know, it's her. So now, hold up. <laughs> Can I do that shit? You're Jay. I'll tell you again. We'll never ever give up forever. Say it again. So now we're gonna break down this song. Go to the back. 
Okay, <laughs> I need to stop somewhere. Oh, it's so hard to press pause during this song. Jeez. All right. Yeah. My bias. <laughs> firmly my bias. Firmly the best album I've ever heard from a BTS member. Flat out, I would say that. Like, come on. There's no denial. Uh, previously, it was uh, V's uh, Layover album. Uh, second was uh, RM's uh, Indigo album. Uh, but this uh, comes and uh, says, get out of my way. <laughs> I'm going to the top. Uh, definitely. Um, there's just so much quality. Every song. There has never been an album where I said every song is good. But uh, we shall see. I think uh, we're headed there. All right, starting with Neuron. How refreshing are these songs? All of them, right? None of them sound similar. None of them sound similar to anything he's done. None of this sounds like anything done on the radio, <laughs> right? This song right here, Neuron. The starting from the beat, it's like an organic hip hop beat, and then you got the uh, the Daft Punk kind of uh, uh, auto tune going on in the back. There's a a lot of uh, hi fi mixing going on. You know how in uh, the previous album, uh, Jack in the Box, he played around with the panning. He's doing that again here. Um, overall, the selection of instruments is a little bit more. higher quality, more world professional, I guess, billboards level of instrument uh, selection. Um, again, the contrast of the freshness of all these sounds is, is what really hits you. Um, the, the level of uh, mixing is outstanding as well. I previously remarked earlier that uh, I like J-Hope's verse the best. And then it was Gecko, and then it was Yun Mi Le. Um, and yes, I, I'm sure that uh, J-Hope's just... He brings a new style here, which I'm sure you guys can recognize. But it's also the flow. He, he really connects with the sound and the flow of this. And he's now attained a new freaking ability. And that is mood. <laughs> he morphs himself into that mood, like perfectly, especially this song, like the feeling. He doesn't overdo his feelings or overdo his rap or vocal or it just flows like naturally like water. And it just, it, it, you know, he's always like harmonic, always, you know, like rap. But now he's just mastering it. It's just wonderful to see uh gecko was uh pretty his his usual good self yunmire is at a dis disadvantage why because her part is so jagged it's like a change up uh, all of a sudden the change up in the mood and the mood is really jarring compared to the previous uh setup and flow and mood of the song and on top of that her rhymes are not like boom 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 on the beat which kills the flow even further uh, but we'll get to that uh when her part comes up but for certain the way j-hope comes in and just rides the wave of this song is just perfect i tell you again we'll never ever keep it forever i say it again but we'll always be a light to move on That beat is just killer, huh? <laughs> With that uh, auto tune. Did you hear that? Cause I want more on the right side of your ear. Really well. 
Oh my god, the way he comes in there, that pacing, it's hard to, it's hard to contain yourself, the first verse in a rap song. Normally people put a lot, they want impact, but here he is like, composed and has a lot of like, you know, like he's comfortable. So he's pacing himself even from the first verse, which puts the, the listener at ease, if that makes any sense. That part, he's slurring, and it sounds so cool. I have no idea. We've never heard this style. Him slurring. That's more of a, a sugar thing. This is something we know. No, 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 no. He, you know, this is like his trademark style dating back from all the way back to a uh, hope world to the ciphers. You know, he goes down. No, 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 no. He still retains that. So there in the back, there's like a, you know, in the what if, this this kind of sound in the back that's making a big impact, even if it's really faint. It kind of reminds me of the Rocky song, that kind of uh, Eye of the Tiger uh, kind of instrument. Um, but but there's a technique in music. It's called arpeggiator. It goes. And that is in the background, um, and it's really making a big impact. If this is produced by P-Dog, holy crap, that's some nice stuff, nice stuff. Um, there's a really nice balance of instruments going on in, in the background, yeah. And there, it's so layered and so complex. <laughs> it's just, uh, this guy's impressive. Oh man, this guy, Gecko. <clears throat> he used to be my favorite rapper for a long time. This guy, he's a real one, right? You feel that. He's a real Korean thug. <laughs> he's just, he has it. He, uh, I think he's missing some teeth. So when he pronounces his S's, it like slight lisp. And I love that. He's like 50 cent. <laughs> Motivation. 
에이스 메트로 어린 시절 피아노 옆에 메트로는 그걸 맞추는 게 일이 됐고 사인의 갯도는 여전히 살 얼음 미래의 불안감은 유령처럼 무대 밑바닥에서 와이터 소리 질러 외치고 돌아와 집밥을 숨숨한 간으로 휴식해 Make some white noise We'll never ever give up for One uh, comment I have is uh, Gecko is almost universally hated <laughs> amongst all the rappers in Korea. People hate his guts because uh, apparently he's a he's a snake. Um, people have written songs about about him, um, dissing him. It might be my hunch, but uh, I know Tasha uh, Yunmire at the end goes. Uh, J-Hope, baby T, but never refers to Gecko, <laughs> so I don't know, it just uh, came to my mind, we shall see, this is Yun Mire's turn, we go. Uh. Yeah. Do you hear that second part of her uh, rap where it changes and there's a new bass and there's a transition within her rap verse? It sounds... There's like a, an electronic bass in the back. It just sounds really good. Right here. I don't know. Uh, she is legend, you know. These are <laughs> the my favorite three rappers of all time, all together. This is like my fantasy starting lineup, essentially. Uh, J Hope currently. Before that, it was Gecko, and then before that, it was uh, Tasha. So this is my favorite. They're all here. If you ask me for who I wanted on a collab, it would be these three, and it's actually happening on a fire track. But I got to be honest, Tasha's uh, verse at the end, I didn't have much flow. Uh, therefore, without the flow, the impact is lessened. Um, she definitely has the voice and, and, and the presence and the command, but uh, her flow is really lacking. And get code. <laughs> this is ding 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 ding. Uh, I'm Batman. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> all right, very good job. Uh, all in all, fire, 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 fire. Okay, <laughs> gotta give this a great. Yes, it was produced by P Dog. Okay, looking good. Uh. Say, so give it a 94. 
with yeah approval we're we're off to a good start 94 yeah 98 we'll see it <laughs> 95 holies <laughs> the thing is uh you also have to weigh in uh how you will feel in the long term when you not just your first listen um so it's uh i foresee this won't be like i mean this will ride out pretty well for the next couple months probably a year but then like after one year it'll probably taper off a little bit and that's what i'm uh taking into account I, i'm i have to really take into a long-term uh grade as well so 94 i i think yeah i think that's uh pretty accurate for me 99 <laughs> he's my bias just understand that so i want to be unbiased to my bias but i'm probably a little biased to my bias as well all right so all right, so we skipped on the street the solo version. Um, I don't want to do that just in, because of the copyright. Um, so we'll just stick to these uh, five songs. And the next song we are going to react to is I Wonder with Jungkook. Of, title is I Wonder with Jungkook of a group called BTS. Yeah, we shall see. I feel like crying. <laughs> My favorite part right here. Come on. So, with these two tracks we just listened to, my favorite three rappers of all time, my favorite current vocalists, idol vocalists, are all here. <laughs> like, what the hell? It's like, <laughs> J-Hope, all my favorites. Yeah, just come, 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 come. 
Gino's gonna like you guys. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I don't know. This song, just... Uh, this song is like... <laughs> This song is not going to get the best grade. But this song is the one that speaks to me most. My heart. Does that make sense? Because the Benny Blanco song is going to get it a higher grade. I'll tell you that. But this song... Hits me. <laughs> hits me. <laughs> Makes me feel... It makes me feel like I'm in a tempur mattress. <laughs> it's all soft and comfy. <laughs> uh, one more time. I just... Uh, it's just like I'm on clouds. But what the hell is the ending? Like, in the beginning. Why, why do we have such long instrumentals? <laughs> And I just love the way uh, J-Hope's verse is. It's so connected with the mood of the song, right? He really directs what kind of mood we're going to have to uh, listen to. And I really like the pace of this, the tempo. I said that earlier too, didn't I? Seriously though, right now we wasted 15 seconds before even the song went, went in. For no reason. Actually, that was nice actually. The serene, no beat guitar. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, so different, right? The, so the sound, his sound. The recording techniques are different too. Uh, totally different. The previous song, I forgot to tell you. They added a uh, room, room uh, reverb for J-Hope's part, which was very unique. Uh, but here, <laughs> the uh, how much uh, auto-tune they put on here, the it really just changes his vibe. Um, Gosh, he can just morph into so many kinds of different uh, moods, and 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 uh, vocal styles. You know, normally rappers have just like this one soft rap voice, and they're not really looking to get in in tune with the song. They just maintain their rap, you know, neutral vocal. But this guy, he, he's like a chameleon. He's like, okay, I will feel this, and I will give you a tune for this. And he's like mastering it as time goes by. This recording technique is he's just right in your face. The other song had like a lot of spatial uh, staging. This he's right here. Not too close, but he's like just a little bit right here in your face. <laughs> it's just it's neat. Living our lives. So old, yeah, so 
Then I'm on the door. But I'm not getting good help. Same good job, I want to drop it though. Get a gypsy match, you hell up, they go. Don't get you nothing good job. There is one instance of maybe a little bit too much auto tune. Right here. Right here. This <laughs> might be a little too much right here. <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. Why he used the auto tune, though. It just brings a new flavor of his voice. You know, it's not every day we get to hear this kind of voice. Um, and it's something new. Um, but right there, <laughs> when he when he flipped that uh, syllable, yeah, a little too much maybe. You know what picture I have in my my head right now? I am he is on a cloud. Jungkook is in on a cloud lying down and singing in the blue sky. Like I can just picture it. It's like a run BTS like setup too. It's like cheesy like uh cotton <laughs> that's supposed to look like a a cloud and he's there with a a bowl haircut uh singing this right here with the artificial blue background. Drawing a perfect you and I All these actions do the turn it So I wonder and I wonder I always talk about conclusions, right? <clears throat> Concluding a melody, especially during a build-up, right? Where's this going? Where's this going? We're going somewhere, right? And then when it doesn't pay off, you're like, "Yo, f you, dude!" I was so excited. I was in. I was. I was vested, and you ruined it. This is so satisfying. It's like a launch pad into even a better part of the song, right? I love that conclusion so much. Best part of the song. And just Jungle's vocals just hit differently. Stick your butt out when you sing, uh, dance to this song. Right now, don't just stop looking forward. Just enjoy this love we can get for ever falling. <laughs> this is such a okay so from here two minutes 20 until two minutes 43 so essentially 25 seconds is just wasted on this useless yeah yo give me another <laughs> verse i would really appreciate it actually <laughs> oh my god oh his vocals it's just it really just puts you it takes you to a like a lovely place right like it's not too fast paced. It's like really feel good. Uh, vocals are heavenly. It's just. Remember that song? Um... Majid? Something Majid? Uh, Blue? We used to always listen to. It has that pace right here at the chorus. Wait.
Okay, great time. I'm gonna tell you, this has longevity. This song definitely has longevity. This will go for a long time. <laughs> it's hard to get sick of songs like this because it's so simple. There's not much to it, and definitely no gimmicks uh, here. Um, ninety-seven, yeah, ninety-seven. Boom! There it is, ninety-seven. Maja Jones, who's that guy? <laughs> the, the song we used to always listen to. Oh my god, what's his name? Nobody here knows that, remembers. Anyways, okay. We'll get back to that uh, later on. Um, yeah, 97. Perfect score for that song. Next song is probably the best song on the album. Lock, Unlock. Freaking duck. Out of this world. Out of this world for so many reasons. Uh, Benny Blanco makes some dramatic, nice beats um, that are really satisfying. They're, they're essentially all the same mode, uh, out of the same mold, but uh, it's really satisfying, right? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> that hits you so much. There's like double, triple whammy, like boom, 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 like getting like a combo punch to your face, right? The first Y and then like boom, boom. Notice this old style of uh, reverb, like almost like karaoke style <laughs> on the mic. <laughs> Oh my god, there's like some ear, serious ear candy here. Uh, your left ear, okay? I want you to press your headphone and I will play it. And there are some delicious uh, background vocals that you can barely hear.
before we get into that guitar riff. Is that Paul? Paul Blanco? Yeah. Left side. We go again. Here we go, guitar. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god, he went down and and stopped it. Oh my gosh. So quickly too. He went in and they went all the way down and then just take a moment and go back up. Nice. This song has everything, doesn't it? <laughs> Get the fuck out. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, die! Right, come on. No. Oh my God! How nice would it be to go one more round right after that guitar? Holy crap! There's so much to un unpack for this song. This one song. Holy crap! This is my favorite song of the album. I don't know about you guys. Agree? This is the best song? Why I say that? The biggest reason is... This is not... Done often to this... Degree of excellence. <laughs> You'll be hard... Hard pressed to find this kind of quality song in this genre in today's music. And it still sounds like today's music. I mean, I don't care about genre. I don't pick my favorite song based on genre. Uh, regardless of genre, this is the highest quality. Yeah. We go again. And then we uh, unpack this. I'm just a sucker for that guitar. The Benny Blanco guitar. Are you BTS? What the hell is going on now? 
Where are we? F fuck. <laughs> Where are we? What the hell is going on here? We are so far removed from brand new day and like all the stuff when I first started. <laughs> Here we go! That is a mighty delicious guitar. Guitar! Uh, I give this a 97. <clears throat> 97 it is. It is tied with, I wonder then. Huh. Yeah. 97. Whew! I am tired. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> uh, wow. Mm. Priya! Uh... Priya, can you retitle the live to uh, include a new run uh, instead of uh, I don't know, I don't know by Yunjin, which is the next song we are going to listen to. This is called I Don't Know with Ho Yunjin of Le Seraphim. Now, I had high hopes for this song. I really did. I... I don't think I quite met my expectations, but uh, I will give you a uh, a more firm, uh, more firm opinion after this. Listen, we go. We go shopping. Oh my god. That part he had to show the color of his the texture of his voice, you know, right? Right here when he goes back up. Does this song make you want to buy a Chanel bag? <laughs> I want to buy something from Gucci right now. Girl, the edge, it's true that I'll be kind 
I want that, I want that. Chop, chop. I see chandeliers, I see champagne, I see Louboutins with fur in the front, like a boink, fur. <laughs> I see a lot of white. <clears throat> uh, I see fur vests, a lot of red lipstick. Yeah. Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? Uh, yeah. Not as high as I thought I would like this song. Um, it's just, I get lost. It's, it's uninteresting. This whole genre is uninteresting for me. I, you, you lose me. You lose me. It's hard to stay focused listening to the song. Because I want to buy something. <laughs> so I want to get on. <laughs> Neta port porte and just order some. Um... <laughs> In all honesty, yeah, it's not interesting. There's the the instruments in the background, like you hear twinkly twinkly sounds and like electronic sounds, but for the most part, it's it's a very undeep, superficial sound. <laughs> I don't want to crap on this. Um, it's one of those songs. It's an H and M song. It's you know, Galleria. Ah, <laughs> uh, shot. And, uh, yeah, I mean, J Ho can only do so much, <laughs> even in this genre. Um, the highs and the lows of the, this melody was just too uninteresting for me to really be captivated, is the best way I can put it about this song. Uh, the, the instruments are very, um, Shiny and nice, but not really meaningful. Um, yeah, it's cafe music, you know. Um, having said that, within this genre, he did a pretty good job, and I'm going to give this a 92. Um, I did like his uh, different style of rap at the end, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I just I can't get on board fully. Uh. It's true that I'll be kind of in my way. I took it. Generic beat. There's lag. Okay, tell me when there is no lag. How is there lag? All good now? <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess uh, YouTube is a love Seraphim fan, but... Uh, I was saying this beat right here 
has no real role in molding any emotions for the uh, listener. It's just a placemaker. It's just like stating we are a fast song, but you will get derive no emotion from the beat because it's essentially used in every song in this genre. Yeah. Anyways, I give this a 92, and we freaking quickly move on because I've been uh, uh, a little too down on on this song. Yes. Play the song next time you are at the shopping mall, and let's see what happens. <laughs> You're gonna <laughs> max out your credit cards. All right. Next song. What if? Now I'm going to. Uh, this is a previous release track on the Jack in the Box album, right? But I will grade this as just a completely new song, as I should. We go. So she bun get you moonu hey, am I really like that? He man kung jung little on the nerd go the sang cake, you your high su in the boobuni bag was in gates, so my music must be in my feel I made it myself, but a moony beauty, she ho bag and mood, not a man nigga madam boob and do the G kill soon, hot a manage I got him so hang your tang and nah hey and dang bitch and no it turns on that Now I liked the mood, the beat, I like the way he comes in, like really dramatic, no no, no messing about, we go right into it. However, this kind of mood of song kind of dictates, uh, I, not really dictates, it, I would have liked it, I would have preferred if he didn't rap fast in most parts of this rap right here. You know, maybe one part would be fast as like emphasis, but then like just keep it, keep it uh, s slower paced to just give it some act actual extra drama. <laughs> Wow, that was just too much right there. That was a <clears throat> pretty chaotic. I, this is an artistic uh, decision, but uh, there is a lot of chaos here. Uh, that's not necessarily in flow with the uh, the songs. Uh, it's just the sounds, like the samples he used are, yeah. That part, <laughs> it's just wow. <laughs> As somebody who is like always like striving for like uh, mixing perfection, that really just goes against you know what I'm used to and and always striving for. <laughs>
He's Korean. Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is a mystery. Like <clears throat> the overall like mixing frequencies uh, differs uh, from the first part and then to this melody. If you look on the graph, it'll be like it's a huge difference. Um, so this is yeah a mystery to me. No, I, I don't like you. Okay, that was what if dance mix. <laughs> yeah, this is a nightmare for Gino. <laughs> it kind of is actually. Even at the end, uh, he's trying to cr uh, uh, create chaos. Um, he's using a lot of DJ tricks actually, stopping the beat and then bring it back. Um, but even that, I can confidently tell you, um, as a DJ, there are, he could have not done that actually a lot cleaner. Uh, there was one technique there, which is you actually <clears throat> you're actually playing the same song, and then you on one it's it's a turntable technique, so you just press stop, so you go true, you know, and then bring it back, bring it back on this, so there's actually pew, and then you go like this. Um, but he, he could have done it a little more cleaner and with more uh, emphasis. Overall, no, uh, and I can clearly see that this will be largely uh, forgotten uh, remix. I don't think uh, it will be appreciated. Uh, it's it's hard to listen to. Honestly, it's just hard to listen to, um, and the enjoyable factor is is largely uh, prevented by overstimulation of the high frequencies in the mix, uh, which you know you're like. Oof. It's, it's hard. Um, I do like do, 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 do. it's a it's a really like uh, old style hip hop. Um, you know, like uh, naughty by nature kind of uh, old throwback uh, hip hop uh, beat. But uh, yeah, it's hard. It's just the mixing. Anyways, I will give that a grade of 86. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 86 is where it's at. And uh, no one, not a lot of people will be looking uh, for that uh, for that track. Uh, they'll probably stick with the original version. Hmm. All right. Ouch. I gotta be... Realistic and um, you know if 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 a decent amount of people agree, then I, I'm I'm relieved that I'm not just totally like bullshitting or or like uh, crazy. Um. So I guess in order is I wonder, lock, unlock, and then neuron. These three are. My favorite tracks. And these are freaking home runs. <laughs> like no other. Holy crap. Uh, one thing I really do appreciate about uh, J-Hope is his uh, search for uh, other different sounds and styles. And it never, never, he never, never rests. You know, he'll always bring... new stuff 
refreshing stuff and he will improve himself you know like uh it's hard for a rapper or vocalist to always continually change up their style of rap and or vocals right who else does this nobody in <laughs> in uh k-pop or western pop is this versatile and this different every time in every song he's different right and i love that because it's really easy to get sick of a rapper because you hear the same tone and style and 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 rhyme and cadence and same style of lyrics you'll get sick of it really fast it's so much easier to get sick of rappers than vocalists because vocalists can go up and down like um you know in key but rappers don't have that but this guy he's not even a rapper or a vocalist he's like somewhere in the middle and he just plays around you know he weaves in and out and just breaks all the rules and just creates new stuff and this is that's what i love about him that's why i fell in love with his style of I fell in love, but just liked him the most out of your group. You know, it's that's the biggest draw for me. That's what it was, and um, yeah, it's just. <laughs> what was I thinking? He's like, huh, my bias could change. Yeah, right. <laughs> your bias can change. <laughs> like, what? 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 Every time I want to change my bias, she so goes, sit right down, mister. I'm going to let you listen to me jump out of a box in Chicago and you will stay right there. And then this time too, like, what? You're going to change my bias? You're going to change biases from me? All right. I will bring your second bias and he and I will be on the same track and you will decide who's better. And then I'm like, Okay, okay, okay. You win. <laughs> ah, that song is so good. We go with uh I wonder which is so short. So tragic. Ah, right 
hear. It's just so like you can just hear like this instrumental was right at, added right snipped right into this vocal. It would have been so perfect if they go, and I wonder, 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 wonder why. Right here. Right after that. Ugh. This is what I picture. Uh, 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 run BTS like amateur style music video. Background is blue. Right up to here, there's like a clouds with like cotton. And then he's like. And I wonder, wonder, wonder. <laughs> he's like this, like on the cloud. And I wonder, wonder, wonder. <laughs> I just love, I really love the tempo of this song. We got J-Hope, baby T, we go. I tell you again, we'll never ever keep it forever. Say it again, we'll always be a light to move
go. Let it go. Day Hope, not Gecko, <laughs> Baby T. <laughs> Come on. I just want to say Benny Blanco's music video with BTS. Freaking classic. So underrated. No one talks about it now, but with the fake merch, the pillows. Oh, <laughs> just thinking about it. <laughs> Yeah. 
We go. Get to come on. That song is so good. It's the last song of the night. I love you. I will be back soon this weekend. Enjoy the release. Okay, Benny Blanco one more time, there we go. I just realized this is a perfect strip club song. <laughs> It is perfect for strippers.